going to teach how to flat an arrow tonight. Um, first off, the arrow is a standard Easton arrow that the Girl Scouts all use. You can see that this one's pretty well um, ragged. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get the old fletches off. Um, with the standard easy fletch, which most of the uh, camps use, you use best just to take all the fletches off. So you can, you can pull these off the best you can, any way you want to do that. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll uh, remove that. Now you can cut. That's the first part. Okay, so we got the fletching off the arrow now. You can use a couple of different tools. This is a uh, defletching tool, and she has a little blade into it. Or you can just use an ordinary knife or anything else like that. We'll use both of these so you can get the idea. So what you want to do is anywhere there's glue on the shaft, you just want to go along there and take it off. If you use the the, the fletching tool, you can see that there's two sides to it, and you just take it off like that. And you want to go all the way around the arrow, and the object is to get as much of the residual glue off as possible. Okay, and you feel along there, and you can see how smooth it is. Okay, after that, you're going to take a clean rag, a little damp water on it, and you want to clean the entire arrow. So get all the dirt off it. Okay, at this point you want to, after that, you're going to just go ahead and dry it. Like that. Okay. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you inspect your arrow for any damage. First, you're going to look at your knocks. Make sure that they are tight, that they don't move. Okay, so you just simply twist it and move on it. Make sure that none of the knock points are missing and make sure they're all clean. If you need knocks, Easton makes the knocks for these. It's an end knock by Easton, which fits in these arrows. You can buy those at Lancaster Archery. Okay. For the point, you want to look at the point, make sure it's not all um, blunt or anything like that. Again, these points come out and these are what a new point looks like. If the point is loose at any way, you pop it out, you can put a new one in, you use hot glue or some um, regular super glue will work. If, the, if it's, the point is blunt or it has a gnarl on it, you can simply take a file and you can go around and file it down if you need to. This one looks pretty good. Okay, so at that point, now what you do is you want to check your arrow for straightness. You lay it down on the table, make sure it rolls smoothly so it's, it, it doesn't wobble or anyways at any point. This arrow is good. So, now all we've got to do is clean the arrow. If you don't follow these steps, then what's going to happen is when you put your fletchings on, they have the, they have the tendency to pop off. First, you need some acetone. I keep a little jar of it instead of a big bottle. With the acetone, you're going to get a clean rag. You will dip a little acetone onto a wet rag and go around the arrow where the gluing was. And what you're feeling for is to make sure there's no residual glue on there. Okay, this one's really good, so you just clean it up, wipe it around. Okay, if you want to, you can take it down the whole shaft. Okay, now, once that's dry, get yourself some 1500 grit sandpaper. And what you want to do is lightly sand just where you're going to put the fletchings, and just to rough that up a little bit. Okay, with that, your arrow is now ready to fletch. Just clean it off with a nice clean rag. And this is all smooth and ready to go and ready to fletch. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start the fletching. To fletch your arrows, you're going to need your easy fletch jig, your fletchings. One will be the index, one will, and uh, the other two will be your hens. So you have two of those, one of your index, and the Max Bond uh, glue. These products are by AAE Archery. You should be doing all these with AAE Archery glue and veins, and we'll go over the, why that's important in a minute. So let's go ahead and get started. So your arrow is all, shaft is all prepped, ready to go. You move the top off your easy fletch jig. You open it up. you notice it has three colors. The lighter color will be for your index fletch, the other two for your hands. Inside, there's gonna be a slot in there. In that slot, you're gonna put your arrow and you're going to know it's in there. It'll slide in there and you'll feel it just gently 
no play in there. Okay. I'll leave that open. Now you take your glue. Get that ready to go. Take your index fletch, put it in the lighter colored arm. Put your two other ones in here. It's all loaded to go. Pop the top off the glue. Now here you just need a very, very light bead of glue. Not a lot. Right down the vein. Just do each one. Very light. Okay. Then what you do is the Easy Flesh Jig has a knock on it. You simply push that up, turn that out. The arms will swing shut. You take your cap, slide it over top and down. And then it's going to sit and dry. Now, while that's drying for, you will only let it dry for two couple minutes. The reason we need to use AAE glue with the fletchings is because they put an, an activator on the fletchings that works only with their glue. If you use another make of glue on their fletchings, they will not stick. What you must do is take the fletching, get some acetone on a Q-tip, and clean that activator off. Then you can use any other glue with the AAE fletchings. Okay? If you use any other fletchings besides AAE, you can use this glue for anything like that. Okay? Okay, if you go ahead and look at this, you only leave the arrow in here for a couple minutes, otherwise the glue will start adhering to the to the arms, you don't want that. So, a couple minutes, you go ahead and you push up and you turn, the veins will pop, you slowly peel this just like a banana, and pull your arrow out. Okay? At this point, what you're going to want to do is take your glue and do what we call dot, dot the veins. You simply put a little tab of dotted glue along each the front of each vein and the rear. This prevents the arrows from getting, the fletchings from getting stripped if it passes through um, screening or anything else like that. So it gives the arrow some it, um, increased durability. With that, your arrow is ready to go. Now you just set this aside and let it dry. I usually let mine dry for uh, overnight to make sure the glue is all good and dry and you're ready to shoot.